Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, we will be continuing to add mobile support to our Super Power Train Simulator-like game. Now, as you guys may have noticed, we have changed the logo. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the logo in the comments below. Um, other than that, guys, please remember to leave a like on the video, and let's get started. So the first power we're going to be changing to have mobile support on today is going to be the Unibeam. Um, also guys, I'm just going to let you know, there will be a whole bunch of thumbnails changing. Uh, I'm remaking all of them to make them look nicer. As you can tell, I think these mobile thumbnails, these mobile support video thumbnails are looking pretty nice. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Other than that, let's uh let's start making that Unibeam one. So first thing, we need another tool. So we have the mobile powers folder and folder folder in replicated storage, and we have our tools in there. So let's just copy. Uh, how about the R R tool and just duplicate it. We'll rename this one to uh, Unibeam. And in the local script, I think all we need is the, you know, whatever uh, the event is called, the fire or whatever, the Unibeam thing. I'm looking for it in replicated storage right now. It's not the most organized replicated storage you've ever seen. All right, so I found it. It's called Unibeam. And uh, so let's just do, we don't need this. We just need to fire the server and let's see what we need. So let's go into service group service and we should have our, I think it's in our create or our power event script. So we have our beam. So we just need a ray. <clears throat> Sorry about that guys. Don't know what happened there. You heard nothing. So um, let's just go into starter player and starter player scripts. We'll do powers local script and we will take, uh, where is it? We should have some kind of thing here. Or I guess we have a different local script called beam. So in here we have this uh, function and we pretty much want this. So yeah, and also, let's, um, let's change where it says PLR to say client, use our find and replace. All right, so now I think that looks good other than um, this right here. We will need this to be event on fire server. on the array. All right, so now here we should just uh, change this to fire beam and we'll just do fire beam. So uh, let's check out if this is working. I don't think it will be because we didn't get the tool. Also, we have uh, an error that's not my fault so that's that's kind of weird so anyways we need to go here and uh, we need to do this and we need to fire it for uni beam and then we need to do uh, go to our clone tool script and we actually don't need to do that um, but anyways, we should call this Unibeam like that. Let's try that. All right, so none of our tools are getting cloned because we're not on mobile. So we gotta we got to go to our mobile mobile view thing, mobile uh, what's it called? I don't know, it doesn't really matter though. All right, so here we can go to our inventory and we can drag over our Unibeam tool. 
and we can uh, just go like boom. All right, so there's no cooldown. Fire climb must be a player object. Yeah, no kidding. Hit. Wait, let's uh, nil, nil. Okay, so I'll put one. Uh, we'll put one here. All right. Anyways, it seemed like it was pretty much working, other than that we needed a debound. So we'll add that in just a second. Let's let's just see why this is erroring us. So uh, we don't have our tools. Why? Why do we not have our tools? We should have our tools right now. Uh, inventory, I'll check again. And we have no tools. No tools. Alright, so uh, let's try that again. Roblox is bugging because as you see, unexpected response when fetching game name, no game info. And then just a whole bunch of other random errors that have nothing to do with me at all. All right, anyways, let's, uh, all right, we're shooting our uni beam. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I get it. It's just because we didn't have a check to see uh, whether it's a player or not. So we should probably add that, but, I mean, that's the least of our concerns right now. First, we'll add a debounce, and then, I mean, actually, first we can just do that because it takes the least amount of time. So we can close this script. We can uh, go go here, and we'll just add a local debounce is equal to false. Do if not debounce, then we'll just do our fire beam and else we'll do a wait of like one second. Or what was, what was our cooldown? I think it was like five seconds, actually. Um, I am not really sure, but I think it was actually way longer than five. I think it was like 10. We'll do 10, it doesn't really matter. You guys can check that, check that out. All right, anyways, we get our tools, our Unibeam. And uh, let's close this. Alright. Well, um, we didn't ever set debounce equal to true. And then this should be debounce equals false. So now our debounce will actually work. Um, so yeah. So guys, also I just wanted to mention real quickly, we are getting pretty close to 1k subscribers. And guys, that will really mean a lot to me if you guys can just click that subscribe button. And it will really help me out a lot, push towards that 1k subscriber mark that we've been working for for over a year. Almost a year and a half in a few months. So it'll be like two months, it'll be a year and a half. Also, I am clicking. Here, let me bring my mouse to my microphone. It's just not working because of our debounce. And now it's shot. All right, so there we go. Let's uh, take care of that little error we were getting. We can uh, we can close this. We can close that. And what we need to do is go into our service script service, our power event script. And we will do a uh, check right over here that says uh, if if hit then that all right well that was easy and uh, now we'll move on to the next power so what what should the next power be um what powers do we even have I totally forget our, we have a energy fist, we'll save that for once we fix the energy fist power up. 
we have the soul harvest, so I mean, I guess we'll do that now. So we'll make a new tool for soul harvest, or we can just duplicate R again. We can just do soul harvest. And in here, we'll just do a, uh, a th let's see what we have. We have a, yeah. So our event should be soul harvest. And I think it's the same thing pretty much as the last thing as our beam so we probably should have duplicated that but it doesn't really matter let's just go into our starter player and our uh, powers local script we'll copy something we'll copy this copy our harvest soul and uh, we already have this over here so we'll just do event and then right here we'll just add our debounce from the beginning um, which I think was a debounce of, I have no idea actually, so I'm not even going to think anything. Um, we have, which one is it? It's harvest soul, oh, debounce, uh, weight of three. So we'll have a local debounce is equal to false. Do if not debounce, then we want to just call harvest soul with a client dot character and else we want to um, set debounce equal to false after a wait of three seconds and up here we want to set debounce equal to true all right so um that should actually do that power up uh actually first we need to go into our tech mobile script and we need to uh, event colon fire server. All right, let's, I don't feel like typing it all out. So let's just copy that and um, do that. And we'll call it, we called it soul harvest. Like that. All right, so let's test this. We need uh, two. We need two screens. And I am not actually sure how it will, if we can use the mobile emulator with two servers, I hope we can, um, but if not, then we're just gonna have to trust it works right now because, yeah, I bet it does work, but there's always that slight chance it doesn't. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it anyways after I save this just in case anything, anything strange happens. Okay, so it looks like you can because it has this device setting on. So, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's good. I mean, that's all we can hope for. Well, also, we can hope that it works. All right, so, um, yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, I think we have it so that we can attack in the safe zone. So, just gonna walk out. Uh, this guy, too. Our mobile is so weird. Oh, I mean, like, on computer. It's still kind of hard to play, you know, on actual mobile. But it's harder, harder like this, too. I probably should check if we had tools. All right. Here we go. We have our tool. This is actually so extremely hard to work. All right, so no errors. So I think we're good. I, I mean, this... This, this is really an improper way to test. Um, I'll let you guys know next video if uh, if it did work because I'll test it on my mobile devices. Uh, but right now, no. Alright guys, so um, you know, those were the only two mobile power-ups we had left because take damage is already, it's already both support. Uh, so, yeah. Next, uh, next episodes, if we Actually, next episode, we'll probably try to fix the energy fist or energy punch, whatever, energy blast, whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, so see you in the next one, guys. Uh, also, by the way, before we go, I just want to say the videos after that, all we really have left is to make like a settings UI. Uh, that will probably come like later, later. But first, what we're gonna do is just make like dev 
dev products, so like you can buy coins with Robux uh, and some game passes. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. We're gonna have our game pass shops, dev products shops. Uh, we might even add boosts in the future. So stick around for that. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the video. And uh, turn them on so you don't miss out on any videos for a matter of fact. So like I said guys, let me know what you think about the new logo and the new thumbnails. So see you in the next one guys. Subscribe, get me to 1k, and leave that like so that YouTube and everybody knows this is such an amazing video. See you in the next one guys. Peace.